Hey you, and welcome. In this video, we're going to do a quick, short little video on ribs and the membrane. Okay? My sister said she was never taught how or why to remove the membrane. What this is, this is your parietal pleura of the pig. On this side, it goes against the ribs. This is what protects the lining of the lungs. And then on the other side of this is the visceral pleura, which is the actual lining of the lungs. And in between here is a nice, fine little bit of fluid that keeps the lungs moving back and forth as the pig breathes or as we breathe or whatever. Everything that breathes air has this. Cows, pigs, us, either way. It's tough. It doesn't allow seasoning to get through. So we really want to take it off. Okay? So what you do, you get a little spoon right underneath one of the ribs and you just get it started. Just like that. Okay? Get your finger up underneath there. And just get it going. Some are tougher than others, and that's why we want to take them off. I'm going to be eating this. I mean, come on. Get this off of here. If you've ever heard the term of a collapsed lung, this is where the air space is. There's air between this, the parietal pleura, and the visceral pleura. A little anatomy lesson for today. Nothing better than a good anatomy on what's what and why we do what we do. But getting this off, it just it makes the ribs better, makes them a little bit more tender. They can take better smoke. They can take better seasoning. They're easier to cut, easier to eat. You ever seen people eating ribs and they're trying to pull it off of there with their teeth? Now you know what it is and why we take it off. Okay? And if you have to, use a paper towel to grab a hold of it because it is kind of slimy. Get all that off of there. Now we're ready to season and cook some ribs, okay? So please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for more anatomy lessons as we're cooking. Thanks for watching. Bye. There.